Now I'm going to show you how to set a new combination in an 8500 series manipulation proof lock from Sergeant Greenleaf. Now before we do this, I just want to give you a few rules for setting a code. The first one is do not set the third number of any combination between 90 and 99 or between 0 and 10. This is actually called the forbidden zone, so do not do that. Do not set the third number of the combination between 90 and 99 or 0 and 10. That will cause a problem. The second thing is adjacent combination numbers should be at least five numbers apart. So that's an anti-manipulation measure. So make sure your numbers are at least five numbers apart. And numbers that end with zero should not be used for all combination numbers. So you need to use odd numbers, okay? And do not use strictly ascending numbers or descending numbers in combination sequences. Like for example, an example of an ascending number would be 22, 45, 83. We're only going up. Or um, 83, 45, 22, we're only going down. So do not use strictly ascending or descending numbers. These are all security measures for a manipulation proof lock because a manipulation proof lock is only going to be used in a very secure environment, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how to change the combination in the 8500 series SNG manipulation proof lock. Now this lock has the combination programmed into it 60, 60, 60, and we're gonna change it to 50, 50, 50. Now, the thing to look at here is, this is the normal index we use for opening the lock, okay? And this one here is the change index. It's 10 numbers down from the main index. So what you need to do is put your code in as you normally would, but use the changing index as a reference, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna to go to 60. Now I've twisted this quite a number of times, so I can stop at 60 anytime I want. So I'll do it here. Once it's over four times, we can stop. Now I go clockwise three times, stopping at 60 the third time. So that's once, twice, and this is the third time coming up. Okay, we're spot on. And now we go counterclockwise twice, stopping on 60 the second time. So this is the first time we're passing 60. And this is the second time we're coming to 60. And we're stopping. Now it's at this stage, we need to insert our change key. This is U8 or U9 change key. And we put this into the back of the lock and we turn it anti-clockwise a quarter turn until it stops. Now we have our key turned, and now we need to program in our new code. So now we just dial our new code. So we're going to go 50, 50, 50 this time. So let's turn left. A couple of times, keep going. Once it's four or over, and we will stop at 50. Now we go clockwise three times. So this is passing 50 once, passing 50 twice. And this is the third time we're passing 50. So you need to stop at it. And now we go counterclockwise twice. So we pass 50 once and we stop at 50 the second time. Okay. Now that we've stopped at 50, we turn the dial right 10 numbers till the 50 aligns with our normal index. So there we go. And then we turn our key back and take it out. So now we should be successfully changed to 50, 50, 50. So let's try it, okay? So more than four times, we stop at 50. Left, 50 once, 50 twice. Stopping on it the third time.
Then counterclockwise we pass it once, stopping on it the second time. We go to zero, and we press our dial in, and open our lock. So that's successfully been changed to 50, 50, 50.